Welcome back, my fellow gamers, to some more Frostpunk Let's Play. So we're going to be continuing where we left off on the precipice of a mother-ass storm. Now, I have absolutely no idea why I'm talking like this, but hey, we're just going to roll with it. But anyway, I think I need to get back to my original voice. So yeah, let's just start going normal again. I think must be the best option because we just go badass crazy all the other wise. But anyway... What were we doing last time? I have absolutely no idea. So, we were getting ready for this major ass storm, weren't we? Yes, so 13 days till the storm hits. We have to build five houses, disband all expeditions and outposts, gather 800, 8,000 coal, sorry, and gather 500 food rations, and scout the frostland to find New Manchester, which I think people are doing, which is good. Uh, I think last time we also got the upgraded coal mine, so I think it's the steel ones. Is it steel? I don't know. I can't remember. Uh, let's have a look. Steam coal mine. So we didn't get the steam coal mines. And I can't remember. I thought we did last time. Hmm. We must have just researched it and not used it. But anyway, let's just go back and have a look what we want to get now in the technology tree. Because we need some shit-ass technology. Now, I could go for the houses and get them all ready. But I don't think that's going to be the way. We could get the industrial hothouse. But it costs steam cores and we don't have that much left. I think we only have about two. Uh, could get the infirmary. Do we want that stuff? Mm, we could get the generator power upgrade. Which would be nice. The temperature will drop soon. We have steam level 2, which means we are relatively okay for the moment, by the looks of it. Everything seems to be good. Yeah, I think we've got a little bit of time before that drops down, so we will definitely look at what else we can do. Now, what else can I do? Hmm. Exploration industry... Uh, what can we get in there? Anything interesting? I don't know. So we could... Nope, I don't think there's anything else to get in there that we want. Uh, we've got the coal mining optimization. Mm. God, this is really tricky. We could get the houses, just get that done. Uh, hell yeah, why not? Let's just get the houses. And now, let's go forward... I do want to check where our scouts are going. Oh, well, one will arrive somewhere soon. And scouts have reached the discarded equipment. So let's have a look what's over there. Ooh, steam cores. I like that shit. So let's explore. Devastated machines. This gear must have belonged to prospectors or explorers who came here before us. We dug through heaps of metal, uh, of metal twisted that was crushed by the moving ice. Much of it is beyond repair, but we can still scavenge some useful resources from it. Hmm, but well, we get three steam cores and a bit of steel. Let's take that stuff. Now, they're all the way over there, so I think we're going to send these dudes back to the city. And then we'll send them out to the other places we haven't researched, well, haven't explored yet. I do want the steam cores, because we want to build some more stuff. Possibly better wall drills. Better hothouse as well, maybe. That would be nice. Oh, and I do know what I forgot to do. We did forgot. Well, we did forget to upgrade to the steam coal mine. Boom, boom. Two of them. Brilliant. Let's get that done. Come on, my crab machines. Get building my stuff. Stop crabbing along now. Get building. Oh uh, well, I don't know what they're crabbing along for. Oh, and we have another message. A note of thanks. Someone has left a note at the care house. It reads, Thank you. With all the work we have to do, it's so hard for our families to properly care for an invalid. Please make, uh, please, like this, well, places like this, make life a little easier for us all. Hope will rise slightly. Can we nearly get that, like, kind of them prosthetics? Like, make him like Captain Hook with a metal hook hand? And we can nearly get it. Because we have one cripple guy. Poor dude. He don't know what hit him when an automaton walked on his poor little leg. Well, now you know, children. Stay away from crab machines. Anyway, what else? We have one automaton that is not working. Why? 
Right, I'm going to pause this, and we're going to find why we have one automaton that is not working. Uh, we've got people there, we've got an automaton there. So why do I have one that is not working? Uh, now, one is in there, one's in there, one's in there. I could get something else for it. Or we could just put it on the infirmary for the moment. Ah, uh, hell yeah, let's put it on the infirmary, let's free up some people. Yeah, I can't remember why I built that, I don't know if that was for something else or anything, I just completely forgot. But it don't matter, we'll just get on with it. So, let's get the new law. New law, people! Prosthetics. So, everyone wants to contribute to the survival of our city. If we can bring amputees back to full fitness, we should do it. Of course we should. New blueprint, we can build. Oh, look at that little hook of hair. Let's sign that law. And let's get that down. Where's the factory gone? And here it is. And let's build one of these. Boom. Now hopefully, that will make a hook for the cripple. And we have got more research to do. Which is nice. So I say we go for more resources and get the steam wall drill. All oh, the steam still works. All oh, the wall drill. I don't know. It does sound rather nice though. Well, we could go with different engine and get more stuff. Because if we get that, we can get more advanced stuff. Uh, what else can we get? Hmm. I say we get the steam wall drill. We're bringing some steam cores back. So let's just do that. Get some more wood in. I could do with some more steel though. We'll probably get the advanced steel works as well. Hmm. Yeah, it'll be nice to do that at some point. Come on, people. Get building them coal. Because we're not producing any. Now with one up, we... Oh, that is nice. We should be getting a lot more coal now, which is good. And then nine hours away from going to that place, I think. Oh, well, we can get these back. We can send them up there. Maybe. And then this guy can kind of scoop around. Yep, we'll do that. That sounds good. Sounds like a good plane. Uh, the temperature will drop in a couple of days, so that's all good. We just need to make sure we're ready for this job. I think we got the houses. Did we? Did we get the houses? And we did, which means we can upgrade this shit. Uh, we need more steel. Yeah, that's what we're running out of at the moment. Steel. Yeah, let's save some, and what we will do is we will get the advanced mines afterwards. Yep. That seems to be the best option. How is the temperature doing? Nobody freezing the nuts off? And nope. Everything seems to be good. My army of crab monsters will dominate the Frostland. Okay, you know for that silly accent, boys. Let's get back to the original one. So, yes, so, back to normal. We have one person who is in palliative care. Does that mean he's like in a coma or something? Well, we have 12 days to survive the storm. Um, let's build some more houses. Let's get him in the outer row. And uh, we have no more steel. Yeah, we're definitely going to need to upgrade them steel works. I probably should have done that before the steam sawmill. But hey, you win some, you lose some, right? So, not much else we can do. Let's just fast forward it a bit then to the working day. Oh, scouts have reached the ruined warehouse. And you can see now that that cripple has now got a hand, so he can work again. Which means we have another engineer back, which we can put him back on there. And now we have five more engineers left, which I'm very tempted to get some more scouts, to be honest. Anyway, 
Three of the four walls are still standing, protecting a small stash of smoke and supplies. Wood and raw food. Let's have a look. With moderate effort, we'll be able to remove the crates containing supplies from under the snow. We'll put good use in our city. Ooh, that is a lot of stuff. We'll take that. Now, you can go to the isolated shelter. It'll take 18 hours to arrive, but let's go there. It does sound good. Let's get another house in. Boom. That means it raises the heat level in the zone, I think. Yeah, so now they're good, so... We might be able to get away with steam level 2 if we do this right, without having to, like, upgrade. We've nearly got the food rations already, which is good. It is now 8 o'clock in the morning, so it's the work day. Come on. Hopefully we can get that wall drill done. That does look cool, doesn't it? It looks like some kind of weapon. Looks like one badass photon cannon. Well, photon cannon or not photon cannon, it's going to get us wood, which is important. And the scouts return to the city with six steam cores. Holy cow. That is a lot. You're definitely going to go to that expedition camp. Boom. We want to see where that survivor came from. And the wall drill tech has been done, and we shall get the wall drill. Steam wall drill, there we go. So we'll upgrade that. That seems to be better. Uh, what should we get next? When will the temperature go down? Yeah, we could do we get in the extra generator stuff. I mean the generator power upgrade and the generator and the heater efficiency upgrade. Maybe. Maybe. Let's go for the power first. I just want to be like double, triple, quadruply sure that when that temperature does drop down twice that we can survive it. Uh, let's do that, yeah. Speed it along. We should be generating a lot more coal now, which we are, which is really good. So we're going to need to try and store all this away, which means we now need more storage, I think. Well, let's get the houses done first, then we'll do the extra storage. So that's the houses for the people, which is nice. Uh, let could get some more storage for some more steel and wood, to be honest. Yeah, let's get some more resource depots. Does seem to be like the best plan at the moment. Resource depot. Resource depot. And a resource depot. Boom, boom, and boom. Obviously we need to get the road going. So we will do that now. Better safe than sorry, right? So, keep going. We have five people homeless, but that's normal because we are building these houses. So hurry up and get them built. We should be able to get that done before the end of the workday. Which would be nice, I've got to say. Come on guys, build them houses. And why aren't them houses being built? We have five engineers, they should be able to get it done. Oh well, we got the generator power upgrade done, which is good. I think that automatically put it on, but we don't need that. Keep it on steam level 2. Yeah, we don't want to send that up just yet. Uh, food, we're up to the max nearly, but we don't need more storage for that. We don't have more people. Uh, what can we do in tech now? We'll go with the overdrive couplings. Uh, we could go for the generator range upgrade, which could set level 3. Which then means it should cover these two here. But do I want that? That is the question. Heater efficiency, the burn one less cold for heater, but that's not too much of an issue now. Get the steam hub range, but nah, we don't need that just yet. I think we get the steam steelworks. And then we'll be independent in resources for quite a while. So we need more shit! Gather more stuff, people. Build me. Come on, we need to get building. Where are our engineers? We had some engineers, and they're not building. Why? That's built, which means we can now store more steel. 
Oh, scouts have reached the expedition camp. Good, we can have a look where that sky came from, that other survivor. So the tents in this camp are old and covered in patches. It seems to be deserted. Let's explore. We found the bodies of the other New Manchester expedition members. Their supplies were completely insufficient for this weather. One of them managed to reach our city from here. Beggars belief. Site discovered broken vehicle. Let's take the resources, some more wood, and we'll go to the broken vehicle. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. That one can be allocated to uh, wood, and that one can be for coal. One of each. The more resources, the better. If we need to have 8,000 coal people. It's going up relatively quickly. Wow, we are making a lot of coal. Which is good. We could probably get some more automatons and put a coal thumper in and get the automatons gathering from the coal thumper. I wonder if that would work. Alright, scouts have reached the isolated shelter. We get steam coals and raw food. Okay, this looks this is no ordinary shelter. It's still bunker. It looks well preserved. We might be able to find some resources inside. Okay, this is a very sturdy bunker. It seems t it seems that whoever uh, it was designed for never showed up. We found some priceless resources inside. It might also serve as a safe house for our scouts during their expedition of the Frostland. That's good. Okay. Now let's send these guys to the broken tree. We'll go around in an arc here and they can just go out to the other places we haven't seen yet. Uh, speed up time. Definitely seems to be the best thing to do. And uh, why hasn't my steam mill been built yet? I mean, my steam saw, wall drill, whatever it's called. The thing that gathers the wood. I think people may be slacking. Hmm. Oh well. Consumption is still good. We have about a day left. A little bit less than a day. Till the temperature drops to minus 50, and then we have less than a day again till it drops to minus 60, and then less than a day again till it rises. But we need to make sure we are prepared for this. Is he upgrading that? Has it done yet? No, but he's doing it. Good, because we are out of wood nearly, and I need wood. So please hurry up, my mechanical monsters. Let's just speed through. To the morning. Yeah, speed up to the working hours. Out, oh, and the scouts have reached the broken vehicle. Good, that was quick. So, some sort of machine buried under the ice. Our best guess is it's a heavy cargo crawler. We get steam cores. Let's explore. Suicide mission. This vehicle belonged to the members of an expedition from New Manchester. It was clearly too heavy for the ice to it rode over. Using it here was pure suicide. Site discovered. Observation tower. Damaged snowcap. And we get an extra steam core. Uh, let's go to the observation tower. Let's just find the Manchester people quick. See if we can find anyone else. You never know. We might find some lucky dude. So we are researching. And that tech should be done soon. And it is done. Which is good. I am very tempted to go for the different engine now. Very, very tempted. Got everything we need there. I could get healthcare insulation. We've got automatons working in there, but then again, we could use it to heal people, well, kind of for the people that are inside. Let's go for the heater efficiency upgrade. Oh, and we don't have the wood to do that. What about the generator range? Nope, so we need to wait for some wood. That uh, should take us too long. I mean, that wall drill does produce a fair bit. But let's just speed it up. Come on, come on. We need to get that 60 wood. And we've got it. So, back here, and let's go for the generator. Or the heater efficiency upgrade. But we have a few heaters, so let's use that. Now, speed up. And how much does it cost to build the steam steel works? We need 40 wood and 15 steel. Okay, well, let's wait till we get the 40 wood, I suppose. Seems to be the best thing to do. We could get some more food storage, which is... Um, yeah, we should actually do that. Yeah, let's get some more storage. Put that on for food. And then we'll upgrade the uh, steelworks. 
Pokemon get that researched? Book of Laws, can we do anything else in there? We could do the public house, or we could do the dueling law. Mm, get ceremonial funerals, in case somebody dies. It is going to get colder, so that could be a good option. Uh, yeah, let's sign it. Better say, sorry, you never know when you're going to need it. And a new message. Food quality. Sir, people are complaining about the quality of food. They understand that times are hard and a full meal is a luxury, but eating one from time to time makes a big difference. Uh, hmm. I can provide standard food rations. Yeah, let's solve this problem. It's going to be relatively easy to do. We go to the cookhouse, we click standard meal, and now we produce standard meals. Boom. Voila. Problemo solvo. We have a little bit of wood, but I want to keep it for the research. So we've got the heater efficiency done. Let's get the generator range upgrade. Oh, we need 60 wood for that. Hmm. Well, let's get the 60 wood. Then I'm guessing if we do that, we can then reach uh, these two seeding places with the generator range, which will be good. Let's do that. Generate a range, boom, and then we'll research the next tier of tech. Yep, that sounds like a good plan. Go, go, go. I don't think we'll get it ready for the temperature drop, but we should get it soon after. So it's not all bad, right? What about our scouts? They've both nearly arrived at their destination, oh, and we have that done there, which means we can put food rations in. Uh, we could do with some more coal. Yeah, we definitely need to gather more coal quicker. Yep, we do need more coal and we need it quicker. So I might get the coal thumper. We'll see how much coal we consume when the temperature goes down and everything like kind of goes up coal consumption rise and then we'll see what we can do okay discontent's rising a little bit okay our scouts have reached the broken tree and the observation watchtower good okay a distant spot in frostland we can use it as a waypoint for further exploration explore new landmark our search hasn't uncovered anything of value but we may be able to reach some more promising locations from here site discovered industrial ruins yeah let's see what that is oh yeah might as well we saw it let's go uh, what next? Can I get more storage? No, we can't, but it doesn't matter. We won't get that just yet. We'll get the steam steel works going. We'll get one in. And we'll get two in. Oh, that's good. And we can allocate coal on this one. Boom. And the messenger lives. Captain, we've managed to treat the messenger from New Manchester. He's made a full recovery. Thank you. If you'd been in New Manchester... I'd have died. We don't have the means to treat such deep frostbite. This city seems to be dangerously undeveloped. I see. Hope rises. So my people are just horrible gits, really. Hope rises. Oh, well, your city's a doom city. Mm, yes, there's no hope for you there. So we're all happy because we're doing better than you. <laughs> Evil survivor. Oh, and one guy's waiting. Why did I not check that? Why, why, why? Okay. This is some kind of temporary observation point. We'll have a better view of what's ahead of us when we get to the top of it. All right, let's look. The other city. We can see New Manchester. Many strands of smoke, uh, uh, many strands of smoke rise can be seen rising from it, which means it's still inhabited. Uh, we have to reach them as soon as possible. Site so discovered New Manchester, broken farm. We take the resources, boom, and we're definitely going to go to New Manchester. 11 hours to arrive, but let's get there. What next? That is the question. Hopefully we'll be ready for that temperature drop. And then we should be fine. Even both of the temperature drops, we should be good. I mean, we have a lot of coal extra coming in. But we should get to that 8,000 coal pretty quickly. Oh, and uh, someone is sick. Why? Everything's nice and snug for you guys. Well, it would be if it would let me look. 
There we go. And it's just these things that are chilly, but meh, that's fine. The seedling arcs are good. Can we build anything else of any importance? Yes, we can. Another depot. I'll just do a ring of these. Just because it looks good. So let's build the road. Oh, and I don't have the wood to build it. Nice. Okay, let's just fast forward a little bit to get the wood going. Come on, come on. Oh, God, come on. Get the wood. So it pauses it when I start to build. That's interesting. There we go. We have more stuff. More storage. Everything is all rosy. Yep, I'm liking the good of it so far. So, scouts have reached the industrial ruins. This building was destroyed by a powerful avalanche. Its interiors are filled with snow, but we should be able to achieve some resources. Coal and steel, let's explore. Bird alive. We discover a bounty of resources as we dig through the snow. Sadly, that's not all we find. An avalanche killed everyone who worked here. Their corpses have been frozen solid. Charming! This, uh, the relatively light closure and insignia of Her Majesty's Prospector Corps suggests they were explorers sent to the north to look for suitable places for generators during the onset of the Great Winter. Maybe it's for the best that they weren't uh, here to witness the fall of the Empire. Okay, take resources. Ooh, a lot of coal and a lot of steel. That's nice. Uh, well, as you can see, that is getting closer. Let's quickly go here. Oh, it takes a day to arrive. Let's risk it. Yeah, let's go there. I think we should be okay. We should get there before the storm arrives. But let's speed it up till the temperature drop. Should drop at 7. Okay, boom. Now it's dropped. So, this means we need to be ready. Come on, what's happening? So that's cold, so we'll raise that, raise that. They're chilly for the moment, which is fine. That needs to be raised up. That is the hothouse, but that's manned. I think the hothouse is manned by an automaton. Yes, it is. The cookhouse, though, is manned by engineers, so we'll raise that up. Yeah, everything seems to be good at the moment. That's not bad at all. And our consumption is still mega high. Oh no, of course, we need to keep it on for the hothouse. I forgot, because if it's not hot enough, the plants won't grow. Silly me. And that's more storage. More storage, more storage. But coal, for example, and even more coal. But uh, the road should have been built here, guys. And why hasn't it been built? Good question. Build me that road. Anyway, we have researched some more stuff. We got the generator range upgrade, which is good. And now we're going to go for a different engine, but we need 125 wood for that. So we're going to have to wait a little bit. Uh, we don't need that on that range setting, do we? I could take it down. Keep it on range level 2. Just check what it does. Yeah, that's good. We don't need it on the uh, next rank level. We can just save coal for that. Anyway, the scouts have, research, have reached New Manchester. The city is much bigger than ours, yet it seems far less advanced and more crowded. Ooh! Mm -hmm. New Manchester, a dying city. A dimly glowing generator stands in the middle of a shanty town. There are so many people here, too many. They look sick, underfed, and most of them don't have a proper roof over their heads. Nothing can save them from the storm except us. Okay, we'll leave New Manchester for now, but we'll do our best to send help. Yeah, oh yeah, we ain't gonna leave these poor people to die, boys. I mean, I'm no dictator. Yeah, let's try and help them. Let's try and help them. So we'll now go to the frozen pond. Boom. And let's have a look what we can research. Can we research the different section yet? No, we need 125 wood. Okay, aid for New Manchester. We found New Manchester, but its people are lacking almost everything needed to survive. We can try and help them, but only automatons will be able to carry supplies across the windswept land wasteland to them. 
In order to help them survive the storm, they first need construction materials, wood, steel, to build shelters. That's just beginning. They'll need much more, especially food and coal. Okay. So, shelter for New Manchester. Gather 600 steel, 600 wood, one automaton, and send the relief expedition. Okay. We have 10 days to do this. So this means... Hmm... This means we need more wood. Is there any other room for another steam wall drill? No. <clears throat> There's no room. What about a sawmill? I could build one right in the middle here. And get an automaton in it, which is what we are going to do. Okay, we'll get another automaton. Which seems to be the best plan. One. Uh, and then what we will do is we'll build another sawmill and we will get the extra wood. The steel will be fine. I mean, our steel is going to be going up really quickly, I think. Yeah, well, that sh our steel should be good. Come on. We need the wood, guys. We need the wood. How long is that automaton taking to build? He's nearly done. But let's get the sawmill and we'll pop that in here where we get the most coverage. Yeah, there, that's good. We get a lot of coverage in there and we don't destroy a lot of trees, which is always nice. Uh, let's do that and we'll connect it to the grid. There we go. And that automaton shall go in there. Because we are not producing enough wood at the moment. Okay, new automaton. It looks sturdy. Yep, I know. Oh, a new message as well. Long hours of toil. So, our people are worn out. Some of them have been working on extended shift for day's end. Their effort is taking its toll and they deserve a break. Nah, uh, discontent can rise slightly. We have basically none, so... That's not going to bother me at one little bit. I could get the steam sawmill, which is what I'm going to get. Because then we can upgrade it straight away. And we are researching some tech then. We are gathering a fair bit of coal still, which is nice. Steel should be okay. It's fine for the moment. Come on, people, get this built. Hurry up, hurry up. No slacking. We need to send help to people. We have nine days left. We might be cutting it a little bit close. I don't know. To be honest, I have absolutely no idea if we are. But I won't. We'll figure this all out. Come on, hopefully we can get it done by the end of the day. Boom. Done. Steam sawmill. Boom. Uh, so we need to wait for that to be built. Actually, we don't. We destroy it, and then we build steam sawmill in its place. There we go. That solved that issue. That is done. That is nice. Boom. Hopefully we can get that automaton in there. With everything else, we seem to have a lot of resources. We could do with another automaton, probably, to send, an or to send the uh, resources to the expedition, but we don't need it just yet. Hmm. Come on, come on, get this built. Right, new tech. What can we get? Yeah, I do want to get difference engine. Oh, yes, which we can get now. Good, because we have the required resources. Brilliant! Oh, and the scouts have reached somewhere, and of course, I forgot to check. So, a distinct spot in Frostland. We can use it as a waypoint for further exploration. Explore. A new landmark. Site discovered. Manchester Dreadnought. Abandoned sawmill. Hmm. We do have a fair bit of stuff. Ah, uh, what do I do? No, we're not going to go to the damaged snowcat. Let's push on. Manchester Dreadnought. Yep, let's push on. Push on, push on. Brave the elements. 
So, speed it up a little bit, hopefully get that steam sawmill built, and the scouts have reached the snowy hill. What's here? Oh, and another district spot for further exploration. So we just got the snow crawler and a wrecked vehicle. But let's go to the snow crawler. Boom. And then we'll go down to the wrecked vehicle and then we'll move home. That seems to be good. Uh, we are running out of time though to get this done. Come on, come on. We need to be more efficient. We could make automatons more efficient. That could be the way forward. A uh, new law can be passed. What can we do here? Mm, nothing really important just yet. We don't need anything. And automaton in. Boom. Get us some wood. Coal is nearly up to 8,000, which is nice. Could get a steam hothouse for more food, maybe. I don't know. Mm. Now we probably don't need that just yet. What about houses? Have we got enough houses? Oh, damn it. Wrong thing. Yeah, the houses have all been upgraded, so that's good. What else can we get? Uh, not much, to be honest. Yeah, now we just research and stockpile, I think. Well, let's go down to 7 in the morning. We'll get to the temperature drop. Now, when it does, we might have to adjust a bit. Okay, it has dropped, and now we adjust. Pause the game. Thank you. So now we have to adjust. So we have to turn on the heaters, the steam hubs. They all need to be turned on. We need to turn on this generator steam level a bit more. That needs to be turned on. I could get away without putting the next level on. We'll see if we can. Okay, that's that's done. That's all good. What's this? That is a cookhouse. It's cold. Anybody working in there? Yeah, engineers are working in there. We're going to have to... Oh, no, we're not. Oh, that's nice. Everything seems to be rosy. And we only need to leave it on for a day, which is good. So let's just pause it quickly. I want to have a look at our coal consumption, see if that's okay. Yeah, we're still doing that, and we've nearly reached the 8,000 required. So, we've reached the Manchester Dreadnought. This machine is enormous, but less advanced than the one we are using. Get steam cores and steel. Nice! Unrepairable. The Dreadnought would have carried hundreds of people. It must have belonged to the citizens of New Manchester. Now it's broken beyond repair. So, we can just take the resources, which we are going to do. Three steam cores and loads of steel, which is good. Uh, abandoned sawmill, let's go, because that seems like wood, and the more wood we get, the better. Uh, the storm is closing in on us, though. I might need to send them back at some point. Hmm. Come on, come on, come on. We are producing a fair bit of resources, which is nice. Okay, the scouts have, reached, have arrived, sorry, the snow crawler. So let's have a look. One of the snow crawlers that was lost in the journey north, dissembling it, provided the resources. Explore. Defeated by the weather, the snow crawler was separated from our expedition by the blizzard and ran out of fuel. Such a shame. Our people are still inside for solid. We'll give them a proper burial. The crawler was built before the great winter. Nobody predicted how bad the weather would get. It didn't stand a chance. No shit, Sherlock. All we can do is dismantle it for resources. Yes, more steam cores. Go. Wreck vehicle, go. And then we go back to our city. With all the loot. Come on, come on, come on. We are producing a lot of resources, which means we could get another automaton going. Which I'm very tempted to do, to be honest. We might need some specific tech, to be honest, to do that. Mm. Uh, no, we don't. We've got... No, I think we might be able to send them. I don't know. Let's build an automaton. Show it. Let's just build one. And we'll see if we can send it. 
Pause. We've researched different tension. Good. I can get additional scouts. We do have five more people. I could do that. Or I could get automaton integration, so it increases the efficiency. Could do that. What else we've got? We'll get the advanced heaters, but I don't need that yet, because the temperature is fine for the moment. Resources, we could get coal mining, rationalization, sawmill range extension. Hmm. Or we could get what's house redesign? No, uh, houses cost less. Could get the infirmary. But we have no one that's sick yet, and the storm's not here yet, so we don't need to do that. I am tempted to go automat or scouts. Let's go automaton integration. We'll increase the efficiency a bit more. It should go up to 85 instead of 80, because if you kind of remember, we had that plus 5% bonus from that engineer who wanted to work. Come on, come on. Gather the resources, guys. Gather the resources. Could stockpile a bit more coal. Yeah, a bit more of that. Can't hurt, can't hurt us. There we go. And we got an automaton coming out, and he'll be able to build stuff, so... Shazza! Okay, new automaton has been built. That's good. He's going to be sending the stuff. Come on, come on. How much are we producing per day? It could help to get a bit of a gist. So we're producing over 2,000... Uh, for nearly about 2,400 coal a day. What about steel? Daily gain. Yeah, daily gain is a fair bit. Could do with the advanced ones, actually, at some point. The more we have, the better. Okay, scouts have reached the wrecked vehicle. Let's have a look. We found a wreck of some sort of vehicle. We can salvage some parts from it. Explore! Travel supplies. We disassembled the wreck and found several bags of frozen but usable supplies. Good, more stuff. So how much do they have? Oh, they have a lot of stuff. We're going to take that all the way back to the city. And the other scouts have arrived at the abandoned sawmill. It's indeed a sawmill. It hasn't been used in a long time. Everything is covered in ice. Explore. Okay. This was probably a base here years ago. Now there's nothing left of it. But this broken sawmill. Take resources. Wood. Good. Quickly go over there before the storm kind of goes there. And then we'll go back home. Yep. That is a good plan. Very good my dear friend. Everything's rosy, the temperature will rise, so we'll be able to put down all the stuff. I don't think we... Yeah, we'll be able to lower the steam level, I think. Save some more coal. Okay, automaton integration researched. I don't think I need the additional scouts now. There don't seem to be many places to explore anymore. Engineer automaton. Uh, it could go into resources. Let's go for the advanced steelworks. That sounds like a good idea. The more steel, the better. So here we're going to be putting in more coal. It won't hurt. And that one will put in some more steel. Definitely. There we go. All that is good. Uh, no more research going. Yeah, that's normal. Let's just speed it up, which we are doing. We have quite a bit of food, which is nice. The coal is nearly up to the 8,000 required. The wood is getting there. So let's just speed it up to the working day. So 7 in the morning, where the temperature will rise by 10 degrees, so we'll go up to minus 50. I should be able to optimize the uh, generator a bit better then. But let's keep going. Come on, come on. We need to move forward, boy. And there it is. So, now the temperature has risen. Which means we can pop the steam level down, I think. Put on steam level 2. I should be able to take off these. And it should be okay. But let's have a look what happens. Uh, yeah, it's all chilly. But that's fine. What about that? No, we need to keep that on. What about this? 
the cookhouse is chilly, but that's fine. And what about these? Oh, they're cold. We need to keep them on. Okay, that's good. But now we should be able to stockpile even more coal, which is very good. Let's just double check what the temperature is like. It is going down, so we'll just speed it up till it goes down to the steam level 2, because it's still heating up a little bit, and we'll see what happens. Come on, come on. So what's it like now? Let's just speed it up a bit more. And there we go. So now it has reached steam level 2. Yeah, everything's good. I'm not worried. So we'll leave it like that. Jolly, jolly good. And advanced steelworks has been researched, which is good. We can go for coal mining, rationalization. More resources, I suppose. We'll go for more heating. Let's go for the... I don't know, when's the next temperature drop? Not in a while, so I don't really need to go for that. Uh, no, not the Book of Laws, damn you! Tech. Generator efficiency upgrade. Yeah, we can get that. Uh, what about food and shelter? We could get the infirmary, get ready. We could get more resources. Hmm. This is very, very, very tricky. What's that? Streamline automata. They cost less to me. Nah, I'm not interested in that. Uh, let's go for coal mining rationalization. Yeah, you can never get enough coal, can you? There's never enough coal. But we can now build the advanced steelworks. Which means more steel for us. Which means we could send stuff to Greater Manchester. Which is definitely what we want to do. And fast, because the storm is coming. Uh, we could do with some more storage. Let's build the second row of storage. Just zoom in a bit so I can see what I'm doing so I'm not blind. There we go. That's four more resources. Boom. We need storage because we are going to need to send more stuff. Now hopefully we should get the steel pretty quickly after that. It should pretty much double our output. So everybody praise the Lord. Anyway, back to more serious matters. Oh, and we have come back with loads of stuff. Ooh. Oh, that is wicked. Wicked, wicked, wicked. Wow. Uh, yeah, we have a lot of stuff now. And I'm going to need some more storage desperately. We have one automaton not working. We have one worker. Hmm. What do I do? I don't know. We'll figure it out as it comes along. Come on, come on. And that is the coal mining rationalization to do. What else do we need? Uh, nothing else there. Could get for some more heating. Let's get the advanced heaters. Let's get ready for that cold, that uh, little temperature drop. So the scouts have reached the city, which is good. Let's keep them there for the moment. Am I going to reach that in time? I don't know. We have 20 hours to get there, so let's see if we do. Okay, more resources. Uh, no. Is that done? Cool. Uh, what else is done? Nothing is done yet. Come on, guys, get it built. Food rations. What about these other ones? Come on, get them, get them built and get the roads built, guys. Come on, you're slacking. Could do with some more coal. That one can do steel, I think. Or no, we can get more coal. Sure, you never gonna, you never know when you need all more food. Yeah, let's go for more food rations. 
Why is it not connected to the grid, people? I mean, I asked for you to build it. Oh. Oh, yes. It is pretty problematic if you have no roads going up from the other place. Of course. It does seem to make sense. Uh, did I build this one out of place? Oh, god damn it. I did. Oh, well. Doesn't matter. Let's just leave it there. I really cannot be bothered to delete it and waste time. Got on these upgraded, advanced steel works, produces a lot more steel, so now we just need to save the steel. We need to save the steel and quickly get it going. There we go, come on. Yes, now we have a lot of storage, which is nice. Could do with some more wood storage though, which is what we're going to get. Boom. Well, we'll just build the one for the wood. Come on, come on. We need more stuff. Let's just speed it up. 200 still away from helping. Great and the uh, new Manchester settlement. So, let's just disband these. I suppose you could disband them. Now, let's keep them. You never know if we might discover something else. Yeah, let's just keep it to be sure. Now I could get some more automatons afterwards I get the um, the resources to send to the Great Earth or to New Manchester. We could build more automatons and get the tech to put them on uh, the uh, workshops so we can research tech 24-7. That could be nice. Okay, that's wood. Boom. What's the temperature's like? All is good. Everything is very rosy. Six hours till they reach the place. Seven days till the storm comes. Everything is going along smoothly. I suppose we could do it like this. Put an automaton. How do we... Uh, how do I send an automaton? I mean, I need to send the relief expedition. But how do I do it? Uh, we'll get to that problem when we get the steel, which we have got now. Okay, now let's have a look. How do I send the supplies? Uh, let's disband these, dude. We don't need them. What's this? Oh, there we go. Relief expedition. Boom. And, oh, there we go, so it arrives in the day. Good. Okay, we're out of steel, but no worries. Okay, food for New Manchester with basic shelter secured. The most pressing need is food. Hunger has forced these people to die of things. May God forgive them. Gather enough food rations and have automatons carry them to New Manchester. How much food rations do we need to send? 2,000 food rations. Holy cow. Okay, we need to do something about that. Long hours of toil. So, are people are worn out? Mm. No. No, no, no. We have no discontent, so... No. No. Uh, that's a hot house. We could get another hot house going. Yeah, we could get another hot house. I'm very tempted to get another one going. To be honest. Uh... Mm. Put it there. Where do I want to put it? Yeah, I'm going to go for another hot house. I'm going to put workers in there. Where's the steam hub? It's there, so it should hit that. If we get the steam hub range, range upgrade, it should be fine. Yeah, let's put that there. And then let's do the road that goes around. Let's do the ring. Do that ring there. Yes, that all looks very good. Now, we need steel, so I could build an automaton, I think. Oh, and another message. Let's have a look what this says this time. People oppose you, sir. The engineers are here again. They argue that sending supplies to New Manchester endangers our mission. Go to hell, engineers. Do as I say. 
Okay, we came here ready to give our lives so the Earth may be reborn. We can't forfeit it all now. Please show us if you understand the importance of our mission. Can't let the people down, indeed, or I won't endanger the mission. Hmm. I'll have to keep at least six automatons working in the city. Huh. Yeah, we've got six automatons working. We have nine working. God, we're definitely going to do that. Well, we need another hot house. That needs more food. Oh, we can do more tech. Why didn't I see that? We can go for the Steam Hub range upgrade. Or we can go for the industrial hot house. Let's go for the industrial hot house. More food. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. That seems to be the best idea at the moment. Okay, so scouts have arrived at the damaged snowcat. Okay, this used to be a large snowcat and steam turbine must have exploded, turning it into a heap of junk. Explore. We found several huge bags inside the wreck. We'll surely find a use for these frozen contents. Yes, 106 steel, that is nice. And I think we've explored everything there, guys. But we're definitely going to send them back to the city with the steel. I can't see anything else to explore. I think we might have done everything, which is really, really good. What else is going on? Let's speed up the game. Let's find out what's going to happen. So we're building the hot house, which is all good. We do need more storage, and I'm going to have more storage for food rations. We get another resource depot. Boom. I'll build it there. It's blocked, but we can build it here. There we go. That's all good. Up there, out there, and out there. And out there. Okay, that's good. So we need another automaton. Oh no, I can put the people in there, can't I? It should be warm enough to put people to work. Oh, six days until the storm, guys. Six days. It's all going so fast. That's 16 hours till it's arrived. That is built. Do we have enough people? Oh, and I have 10 engineers. Excellent. And we're going to put the heater on. Let's have a look at the heat map. So there's nobody working in there at the moment. We could put that on and hopefully it would hit it. Hmm. Nah, I know what. You know what we're going to do? We're going to get another automaton. Yep, we are. We're definitely going to get another automaton which we can do, and we're just going to get one. Shove it. Boom. Because we can. Mechanization for the win, boys. Rise of the machines. So we have more storage for more coal, obviously. And, of course, for more food rations. And even more food rations. And scouts return to the city with more resources. God, I'm having, I've got too much resources. I don't know what to do with them. More resource depots, please. Hmm. We're running out of room. Put them all up here then. One, two, three, four. I just build a load because we can. Do I need a reason? No. Can I build more? Yes. And there, the road is there. Well, I think I'm going to end the episode here, guys. This is really good. I'm really enjoying this game. I think I have a slight problem and something to do with an addiction. Yeah, I'm slightly hooked on the game. But, oh, well, that doesn't matter because it's all for my fun and your fun. Because we are liking it at the moment. Anyway, if you are liking the video, guys, please don't hesitate to like. Give me a comment. And if you want to see more of these videos and kind of be alerted to when new ones come out, subscribe. And if you do, honestly, I would really appreciate it. Anyway, with all that said, guys, thanks for joining me, and I will see you soon. All right, peace out.